25 years ago, Belgium was the best country for a Nigerian player to come and start his career. There are so many examples of players who made it. Uh, Kayode Keshinro, uh, uh, Godwin Okpara. Uh, uh, there are so many players who started their career in Belgium that time and became very, very good professional football players. Today, the level in Belgium is very, very high because Belgium is, in fact, number one in the world. The national team is on number one. And also the youth players, they have a certain high level so that it's not like before anymore. It means that when a Nigerian player comes to Belgium, his level must be very, very high immediately because of one, the level of the players has improved for the local uh, footballers, the Belgian players. And also the law says that when a Nigerian football player comes to Belgium and he wants to sign a professional contract, the team on immediately has to pay 100,000 euro as salary to the player. So that means that the, that the player does not really have the time to show himself. He must play immediately in the first team and put himself in the picture. It's only the top teams who can invest in young Nigerian players by giving them a chance of bringing them, let's say, five, six, seven, eight, ten months before they reach the level. First of all, in Europe, what we lack in Europe for the moment most are wingers and attackers. So in Nigeria, you have very, very good wingers. It means that, give you an example, Moses Simon. Moses Simon, who is an international player, he went first to Trentzin, a small, small country, like I told you. The Belgium team pick him up. Agent, he played in Agent, and now he plays in France, top level, first division in France. He even played, he even played and performed well in Spain. So that means a player like that, you can judge him on his qualities of a winger, which means very fast, very handling, very dribbling. On that position, you have to look very, very good. What are his abilities? Another example, a deep striker. In, in Europe, it is very, very difficult to find the real good deep strikers, like Haaland, eh, like uh, Lewandowski. So you have to look very well when you judge an, an attacker. You have to look how is he moving without ball? What is the position he's taking when, for example, a winger is going to bring the ball before the goal? How is his heading? How does he protect the ball? How uh, does he, does he, does, can he play in one time? Does he have vision? It's not easy to judge a player, but you have to look to so many different things. Very, very important, speed. When you have, when you have an, an, a midfielder or a, or a defender who is not fast, I think you can already forget it in Europe because the tempo is so high that he has to adjust to the speed, speed of execution, speed of giving the ball, speed of placement. Everything goes very, very fast. The difference, for example, between a top team in England and a top team, let's say Belgium, or a top team in a lower country, is speed. It's the way, the speed of execution, the way how they take decision of doing an action. And when a player has that ability, that is something you have to judge. And of course, every position on the field has his special qualities. Number two, right fullback defender. First of all, he must be very good in defense. He must be fast, but he also has to know how to go and do the line that he can even give crosses before the goal. A defender now is not a defender like before anymore. A defender now is not only to defend. A defender must give support to the attack. When he can do that, it's a quality. So you have to look to the special qualities of a player on the special position where he's playing. That is one of the reasons why it is 
very, very difficult for an African goalkeeper to succeed in Europe. And I will explain to you why. In Europe, a goalkeeper needs to be concentrated 90%, 100% full concentration on the game. That is a, a, something that an African footballer misses. He has always in his attitude of playing a certain moment or a certain time that he's not in the game. He's not concentrated 100%. He's not following the game fully. That is why a goalkeeper who is so good, who is so talentful, and you have so many good goalkeepers in Nigeria, you will hardly see somebody making it to a top team because he will play 99% fantastic. And that 1% that he's not there, it will, it, will, it will cause a goal and you will lose the game. So it is very important to learn First of all, how to concentrate on the game, specific skills on any position, and of course, let me not forget, in football, you also need a certain small lock to succeed. I will give you an example. There was one player that came to Belgium that time that I brought to Belgium, Taye Taiwo. Taye Taiwo came to Belgium. He did a trial in Ghent, Belgium top team. The, tri the trial was not bad, it was not good. So Ghent decided not to sign on the player. He went back to, to, to Nigeria. He did a test in France. He went to Marseille. His test was fantastic. From Marseille, he went to AC Milan. He became the national uh, captain of Nigeria and he made it to the top. So you need also a little bit of luck. And the reason why he did not perform immediately in Belgium was because the Belgium coach that was guiding him in Nigeria because he came from a football academy in Nigeria was telling him listen Taiwo when you come to Belgium don't take risks in your game hold the ball in the team they don't like it when you lose your ball but that was not the right advice he should give to the player because when you come for trials you have to show to the people that you are more and better than what they have on ground. So he did not take enough risks in his game in Ghent. Why did he not give him a, a contract? So it's a question also of picking up what they explained to you. They gave him not the right advice how he should perform in Belgium, but he did it in France and he made it to the top and I'm very happy for a player like that. So you need to look at speed of execution. You need to look at the position where he plays. You need to look at also the mentality. A player has to have the good mentality. I always talk with the player before I, bring, before I bring him to Europe to see if he has something in the head that he's really clever to pick up some things. He needs a bit of luck. And of course, he needs the right person to guide him to make it in Europe. A lot of Nigerians, Nigerian footballers, when they come to Europe, they start first in a lower country, lower level. I'm talking about Slovakia, Slovenia, uh, Ukraine, uh, Finland. And when they make it there, the Belgium teams pick the players and buy them to play in the first team. So it's a, it's a completely changement of uh, procedure where you had the time, in the time you could bring a player for trials and you could uh, give him a chance and he has time to perform, now it's not more possible anymore because the salary, the basic salary for the player is immediately so high that he must be ready, ready, ready to play in the first team immediately. When you know that a player that comes from Nigeria, that he has to adapt to the system, to the food, to the climate, to the team where he goes, it means that it's not so easy anymore immediately to perform on the highest level. Some players pick it up very fast. Some players, they need time to adjust to the system and then make it later on in their career. I give you an example. I brought a player three years ago to Belgium, Yusuf Lawal. 
The boy had a very good attitude. He was trying his best, but he had to learn how to defend. He had to learn the tactical way of playing. He had to learn how to, 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 to eat here because the food is different. Uh, the way of training is different. The temperature is different. And now, three years later, he's for the moment playing in a nifty bachu in Azerbaijan, where he's going to get his level that he's supposed to have. So you will see a lot of Nigerian players now performing first in a low level country before they go to the better countries like Belgium, the Netherlands, England, France, Spain. That is the reality today. But I would still, still say and continue what I always say. For my point of view, there are two countries in the world where you have the most talentful football players. It is Nigeria in Africa and it is Brazil in South America. That are the two countries where we play, where they play football on the street. Every, every place where there is an opportunity to play football, you see play, players playing football, street football, school football. And that is the basic to perform on the highest level. The only thing is that these, these countries are so crowded that you have to be very, very lucky as a football player that somebody is picking you up and say, OK, that is really somebody who can make it and that they give you a chance. So that is, in fact, a small, a small way of how I see uh, professional football for Nigerians in Europe. First of all, the rules have been changed completely by FIFA. The level in Belgium has improved and it is not so easy anymore to immediately perform in Europe because of the circumstances that I mentioned.